everyone, Matt here. Today we're going to be doing the ultimate NBA quiz. And this is on Sporkle.com. We're going to be seeing if I could complete this ultimate NBA quiz. Okay, are you going to be able to answer all these questions about the NBA in 15 minutes? It will start easy, but will progressive, but will get progressively harder. Alright, I am down for the challenge. And there are 35 questions that I have to answer in 15 minutes. So that's like... I have to answer more than two questions in a minute. So let's see if we can do this. All right, let's start. What superstar was in trade talks around the trade deadline? Remember, the quiz will get harder and harder. You should easily get this one. Davis. Who are the two? Who are the NBA's picks for the top three MVP candidates in order one to three? Um, Giannis, Harden, and Paul. Paul George. Yep. Okay. What order of seeds were the Eastern Conference? Um, yeah, Bucks, Raptors, Sixers, Celtics, Pacers, Nets, Magic, and then Pistons. Okay. Okay, same question, but Western Conference. Um, Warriors, Nuggets, Blazers, Rockets, Jazz, Thunder, Spurs, Clippers. Um... That seems about right. Yep. Final very easy question. Which team president stepped down during the playoffs? The president, the president's team did not make the playoffs. That's Magic Johnson. Come on. The, no, I, okay, I did not mean to do that. But I did not mean to do that. You saw that, whatever. How many teams are in the NBA as of the 2030? Duh. How tall is Boban Marjanovic? He is 7'3". Which of these NBA players has a son coming in the 2019 draft, who is that son? Oh, Manu Bol Bol Bol. Okay. Finally, for the easy questions, which company sponsors Stephen Curry? Shit, I should know this. Ugh, I don't know. I don't follow Steph Curry. That's why I don't know it. <laughs> uh I'm going to get this wrong. Nike. Yep, Under Armour. Okay, I am really stupid. Okay. Starting off with the medium questions. What team has the most championships of all time? Celtics. How many different teams does Dwight Howard play for? What are those teams? Um, Magic, Lakers, Rockets, Haw Hawks, Hornets, Wizards. Yeah, that. Okay. What superstar's career was changed massively from injury last year, 2017-18? Gordon Hayward. Yeah. Who did Matt Barnes drive 95 miles to beat up? Um, I don't know. That's, um, hmm. Jesus, I don't know. I'm going to say Derek Fisher. Okay. Who were the top three Rookie of the Year candidates last year? Who won it? Winner will have a star by their name. So Ben Simmons won it last year. So it's this one. Yeah. Who holds the scoring mark for the most points in a single game? That's Will Chamberlain. 100 points. What NBA legend has a son who performed horribly in the NBA? John Stockton? Oh yeah, because his son plays and he's like, terrible. Okay. What player on the Boston Celtics dunked on Giannis multiple times in one series? Hmm. Uh... Tatum? It's, it's either Tatum or Brown. I don't know. Uh, uh, Tatum. It's Brown. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Which NBA star scored zero points in a playoff game this year? Kyle Lowry. Duh. <laughs> last medium question. What NBA star scored one in the playoffs last... So one point in the playoffs last year? Ben Simmons? Okay. First hard question, who averages the most points in Wizards franchise history? 
Wes or Gil uh, Gilbert. It is Wes. God damn it. Which player can dunk from the free throw line? Serge. D hmm. I'm going to say Vince Carter. Serge Ibaka cannot dunk for the free throw line. Are you kidding me? Who is who of these players is the shortest? JJ Barea. He's really small. Okay, which of the players is the tallest? Dwayne Wade, Russell Westbrook, James Harden, or Devin Booker? James Harden. Really? Come on, no, he's not. Who is the two time Shaq and a full MVP? JaVale McGee. That's an easy one. How many teams has Lou Williams played for? Name those teams. What award has he won two times? Obviously, six man of the year, two times. He has played for the Sixers. The hmm. I don't think it's that many teams. I highly doubt it. Um. Hmm. It's the Sixers, Raptors, Lakers, Clippers. Oh, we played for the Rockets too. Okay. Okay. Sixers, Hawks, Raptors, Lakers, Rockets, Clippers. I doubt he's played. I don't know if he played for 11 teams, but I'm going to go with this. Yep, okay, that's right. Last hard. Who are the four tallest players in NBA history? Also, I won't be asking many questions anymore. Oh, okay. Manupo, George Mirasan, Yao Ming, Sean Bradley. That seems about right. Yeah. Not in my house. Kimmy Matambo. If you don't like that, you don't like NBA bet. Oh, Jesus. Um, Grant. There we go. Forgotten Lockdown? Okay, this is really starting to get hard. I don't know this. Like, what is this? Uh, um, Rick Barry, I don't know. Tony Allen, really? Name the NBA's listing of the top players of all time at each pos- Oh, come on, that's an opinion, come on. But, um, hmm. Uh, I, I guess I'm going to go with this one. Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Tim Duncan, and Kareem. Oh, okay, whatever. Ready for the insanely hard questions? They start next. Who is the biggest bust in NBA history? That's an opinion, man. Come on. I would put Kwame, I would put Kwame Brown there, but I really want to consider him the biggest bust ever. Because he lasted for over 10 years. So I'm going to say Greg Oden. Sambo. Really? Three insanely hard questions. Let's go. Unscramble the letters and find the player. Um. That looks like Kawhi Leonard. Which Boston Celtics player was conditioned in strength to be their hope for stopping Giannis in the playoffs? Jalen Brown? Sam Oh, Come on, I don't even know who that is. Oh my god, whatever. Last question. How did the 76ers get out of their hole? Now it says how, not who. So the process. Okay, so I got a 74 and the average is 75. Okay, but to be fair, some of those questions were opinion-based and and that one that I accidentally clicked on, that, that didn't really count. So I think I did all right, but I know I could do better. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm probably going to do more of these quizzes in the near future because these do seem like a lot of fun quizzes. Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.